Well, you know it, I know it. There's Little Dow, Texas is home to a lot of talent in this week's Hooked on East Texas. We introduced you to some students reeling in recognition for their fish art. Art imitates life. My fish usually a native fish to Texas. The famous Oscar Wilde quote is on vibrant display. Most of the time was spent on the detail on the fish. At the Texas Freshwater Fishery Center, Hawkins third grader Jackson White took home second place in this year's Texas State Fish Art Contest. I used uh, some of the paint pens for the uh, gold and pencil, and the background is all watercolor with a little bit of pencil. The Texas State Fish Art Contest is part of TFFC's educational outreach. Kate Barkalo is the Education and Interpretation Coordinator. All they have to do is pick a fish found in Texas and submit a piece. Two-dimensional works of acrylic, markers, ink, dot art, and watercolor. So we have quite an array of beautiful fish in many different colors, and it's amazing to see the artwork that comes in from our Texas students every year. Pictures inspire some of the pieces. Sometimes it's fish habitat. For instance, can you find the fish hiding in this picture? If you look closely, you can see some of these other critters that are hanging out in the plant as well. So it's a really dynamic, really interesting piece. Other young artists draw from experience. I do know that we have some of our children are anglers and they are inspired by their own catches. The artwork comes from all over the state of Texas and it's broken up into different categories. Four, in fact, based on grade level. Two of these winners from the state of Texas recognized nationally. Arim John is one of the national winners. The Dallas sophomore won scholarship money for college. I did a striped bass and I thought it was really pretty because of the stripes on the bass and I thought that was really unique so I tried that. The winners, recently honored at a state fish art contest ceremony, took their works of art home. Jackson White has the perfect place for his work. Uh, I, I was going to give it to my uh, grandma. A celebration of hard work. Some of these pieces took two months to complete, but in the end, it's more than art. It's about making a connection. And it's really to encourage and get kids into fish and fishing so that way they can learn more about their species and hopefully get them uh, more involved with conservation. All right, Brennan wants to compete, but unfortunately, Brennan, you're a little too old. <laughs> but <laughs> next year's Texas Fish Art Contest will open shortly after the new school year begins. Artwork is usually taken through the end of February with winners announced next spring.